Hi, I'm the Toy Mom, and today we are going to decorate a pumpkin using this Mickey Pumpkin Push-Ins from Disney. Here's what you get with this set. You get two arms, and look, there are these spike things that you use to stick into the pumpkin. There are two feet that you get to, he'll be sitting down, so we'll go like that. And then here's Mickey's head and that will go up on top. So let me show you how it's gonna be done. You'll want to pick out a pumpkin that's the right size. We could have gotten a bigger one, but I thought this was just perfect for Mickey. Do you like it, Mickey? Oh yeah, it's great. And so we'll use this. It also sits flat, which I really like. It's very sturdy. So this is the pumpkin we will use. Now we'll need to decide where to put Mickey's head. Mickey's head has a spike right here, and while I can't really use it to poke in the pumpkin, it's not quite strong enough for that, I can use it to mark the pumpkin. But first, I wanna see where it would look good on the pumpkin. So just when you've decided where it would look best, and I think right there, then you can use the spike to make an indentation that then can be used to do a starter hole. So let's do it that way. This is the mark that the spike made in Mickey's head. Now I'm gonna use something not super sharp, and this is where you'll probably wanna have mom and dad help to poke it through the rest of the way. There we go. Now I'm gonna kinda of go around like that to make it big enough, and now I'll be able to put Mickey's spike in that hole. I'll do the same thing for the arms and the legs. Let's see how this is gonna work. Ooh, that's really cute. Now let's figure out where we want the arms. This one will go over here, and what do you think? Maybe right in here? So I will just press it in to make a mark like that. And then I'll use my little handy dandy screwdriver to make it bigger. And then I'll do the other side. This one turned out great, and you can have him waving, or you can have him have his hand out. You can twist it around for different poses, so I think that's neat. Now let's decide where to put the other one. And I'm gonna make that decision by looking at where I put the last one and coming over and trying to put it about the same height and distance away from his head. There. Now I'll make that hole. So far, so good, Mickey. Now, let's figure out where we wanna put the feet. Let's see, we want him sitting down like this. So let's move him back a little bit. And it looks like we'll want them to come in kind of like this. So I'll start over here to do the marking. There's the first leg. Now, just like with the arms, I want to line it up, and this time I also want to look at the arm above, and I think this will work, so I'll mark it there. What do you think? Pretty super cute, huh? You could twist his feet too if you want to, but you know what? I thought I would make mine just a little bit fancier, and to do that, I found a picture of Mickey dressed up like Count Dracula, and if you look, he's got fangs, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we used this set to make him look a little more like this? Well, let me tell you how we're gonna do that. We are going to paint on some clothes and add a cape. So let's get started. To make this a family-friendly project, I'm gonna use some Crayola washable paint. I'm going to use a marker from Crayola that is also washable, so the little ones can help with this. They can do the painting and mom and dad can do the outline. I have some brushes to use. I have a little container I got from the recycle bin where I'm gonna put the paints I need in here so I can use them here. I want some water to clean my brushes and some extra paper towels to wipe off my brushes. So with that, let me show you how we're gonna use the marker first. Using the marker, I'm gonna make some simple lines. I'm gonna go down here from his neck to his arm like that. 
Let's do that on the other side. There we go. We'll be painting, so don't worry about not being neat here. Then we need to make another line from this area of his arm, just a short one, just a short one. And you'll find out why in just a second, because now we're gonna make more of his body. Okay, next I'm gonna draw a line from here and a line from here. And I'm gonna decide that this is his waist. I'm gonna make a little mark here because that is the middle, pretty much the middle of his waistband. And from there to make his pants, I'm gonna come up toward that, but I'm gonna stop. And then I'm gonna do it from the other side and meet up with that triangle and then I'm gonna just work until they meet there. That'll work for what I need. Now I'm going to draw a line down this way to be his other leg. There. Remember I said you don't have to be very straight. The marker is hard to use on the pumpkin. The paints will work better and we can erase any mark that didn't work. So now, the next step is, we are going to take everything off of Mickey, his arms and his legs and his head, to do the painting. Looking at this picture, I'm gonna make a couple of more lines on our pumpkin before we start the painting. I'm gonna draw a line here and here, that way we'll know where to paint here, and then we'll go below the arms a little bit, so I'll draw lines there. And now I'm going to draw a vest and I'm gonna have it come down here like this. And he'll have a white shirt underneath. That part will be white. This part will be red. And I think I'll bring that down just a little further on his little jacket. It's actually not a vest, it's a little jacket. And now we can get out our paints and do the rest. Here's my paint, here's my brush, and I am going to start painting this top. It's pretty easy. While that's drying, I could start painting the red. And the last thing I'll paint is this shirt, like the one in the picture. And then we can add back the legs and the arms and the head. Now we can add back the head the arms and the feet to see how close, look at that already, it's adorable, we come to this painting. Isn't that cute? But I have one more surprise for you. Here's the surprise. I had some black fabric in my sewing room and I put some holes in each side using that same screwdriver that I used to poke holes in the pumpkin. And then I thought, how cool would it be if Mickey also had a cape, just like in the photo. So now I'm just gonna tie this ribbon and he's gonna have this great cape. Now I think this pumpkin is really, really 
spectacular. There you go. Isn't that fun? Do you like it, Mickey? I think he does. Thanks for watching. Now you can watch another one of my Halloween videos or you can watch one of my friends videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples. And please don't forget to subscribe.